from the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is a Thunder Update brought to you by Bob Moore Ford. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Anthony Slater. All right, Anthony, we got to start with the clunker in Utah. A surprising loss, but the way the Thunder lost that game I think really was a shocker. What in your mind was the biggest issue for this team against the Jazz the other night? Uh, it's got to start with defense. They give up 58% shooting to the third worst shooting team in the league. I mean, I think the Jazz shoot something like 43%. They score 93 points a game. They scored 112. It starts there, and I mean, it really starts with Serge Ibaka in the absence of Serge Ibaka. And I think it showed last night, you know, what he gives this team on the defensive side of the floor. There was no rim pr protection. I think the Jazz shot something like over 90% at the rim. They, you know, Thunder usually give up around 50 or so. So, I mean, I think it shows there with Serge Ibaka. And then beyond that, I mean, you can't use that as too much of an excuse. You got to guard Gordon Hayward. You got to, you know, guard some of the Jazz players, and they didn't. And that was where it started. Well, and Serge Ibaka, it's flu, so he'll be back yeah. hopefully soon. But at the same time, defense wasn't their only problem. No, I, what, 38%, 39%? I think and then that's where we talk about Russell Westbrook's absence. I mean, Serge Ibaka's absence also matters on that end. But Russell Westbrook, they've been really inconsistent on offense since he's been out. You know, they'll score 91 one night, and then yeah, I think like 120 they had the other day. So last night it was a bad night, you know, like I said, 39%, 6 to 34 from 3. I think Jeremy Lamb was like 4 of 14 overall, 1 of 8 from 3. So that's kind of, you know, the issue there. The inconsistency, like we mentioned, and last night it was just a combination of both. I'm almost surprised they only lost by 11 if you look at the percentage, you know, right. Uh, discrepancy. Right, well, and they got to get that fixed because they've got some tough games coming up, maybe not in the short term, but definitely as you look a little bit longer on the schedule. It doesn't get any easier for this yeah, team. Yeah, the Nuggets have won three in a row. They, the Nuggets were kind of going through a lull, and that's who the Thunder play Thursday on TNT. So that'll be a tough game. It's always tough in Denver. Uh, Saturday, they kind of get a nice little cushy one at home against Milwaukee, the, the worst team in the NBA. And then, But then, like you said, coming up, I mean, Memphis, Houston, I think there's a Warriors game coming up. I think the Bla you know, Blazers at, at some point. Heat at the end of the month. So... Uh, they're hoping they should get Ibaka back very soon, I would assume Thursday, and then, you know, Westbrook, we'll see. I, I, it's looking more and more like it might be before the All-Star break. But, I mean, they got to kind of shore up that inconsistency, and like you mentioned, a lot of big games coming up. All right, thanks, Anthony. Yep. Sure, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.